Good afternoon everyone, my name is Lewis, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all safe and well. Today I'm going to be continuing my series entitled Black Gold, and these episodes are to do with my recent vinyl purchases. Um, I will show you each album in turn, um, giving you some kind of idea of why I purchased each album, and I will show you all the packaging, I'll show the individual vinyl itself, and um, yeah, if you like what you see, I always suggest taking a listen to the album, see if it fits into your collection. And if it does, this is going to give you an opportunity to try and get in there before stock runs out, pretty much. So, um, first out of the gate is an album that I had seen for ages and I kind of just ignored it. Um, and I always picked something else in front of it um, in terms of what I felt I wanted at that particular time. But I'm glad I've actually got my hands on it now. Um, what I've heard of it, it's absolutely superb. It's something different. Um, yeah, I do have items like this in my collection already. But yeah, this one, uh, yeah, I just should have bought it ages ago. And it's called Spider Jazz. So this is library music which accompanied the animation series for a well-known marvel superhero from back in the day so yeah this is kind of like the incidental music which would have been found in some of those animated episodes um it's on the let's have a look i'm trying to see it's on the trunk record label and it was released in i think 2017 but obviously it it dates from an earlier period. Um, what I've heard of this album, I really, really, really enjoyed the sound of it. Um, yes, I'm not so familiar with the actual animation itself. I probably did see it as a child. Um, but yes, the musical cues on this really do, you know, warm my heart. It's, it's, it, it feels familiar, um, may I say so. Yeah, super pleased to finally get my hands on it. It was reasonably priced. Um, it just may be a question of uh, the difficulty in finding it rather than the price, which might, you know, if you are interested, might hold you up in terms of getting this particular item. But yeah, um, can't wait to do a deep delve into it and see if my initial thoughts of the album are confirmed by listening to it, you know, a couple of times through. But yeah, I'm, I'm certainly happy with this one. The packaging itself, well, there was no inner packaging to go along with it. No, there wasn't. Um, the vinyl itself comes in a standard uh, paper sleeve. And of course, that's going to be discarded as quickly as possible. Oh, there's a bit of static there, a bit of static. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. The actual label itself there yeah um <laughs> it pleases me um yeah nice bit of vinyl um it's what i expected completely um yes it looks very nice indeed um i can't wait to play this to be quite honest with you um i might do a review on it i'll, I'll see how i feel about it but um yeah i've got quite a few albums piling up so yeah maybe one for the distant future the next album um, is a lovely Brazilian album that I came to hear of the other day. Um, it's on the Literal record label and it's by a, an artist called Joycey and the album is called A Musica Seculo XX. No, I think I got that the wrong way around, but um, I'll show you in a minute anyway. There you go. Um, I did get that, this translated from Portuguese to English at some point. I, I, I did it like a few days ago. And I think it was, it translates into um, music of the 20th century. Um, yeah, I just misread it because yeah, you can see how it's, the words are all kind of not in a linear fashion or a fashion that we would normally read things in. So I missed out the equivalent of of there. So it's Jossie. Um, yes, uh, I really did, what I heard of this initially, I really did like it, um, that's the reverse side, yeah, girl with acoustic guitar on the beach, yeah, you can't go wrong with that, um, 
yeah it's it's in my wheelhouse of again uh the brazilian bossa nova sound um i predominantly buy the female singers of that era and this is going to fit in lovely um it's traditional songs along with composite um original compositions as well as traditional ones and she just gives her own flavor to it and i always appreciate that so yeah this is going to take um sorry this is gonna inhabit um a place of reverence in my brazilian section um so yeah i'm really super looking forward to hearing the whole album in its entirety i've got high hopes for it the packaging which it came with um nice little black and white in the sleeve kind of with some information in portuguese about the artist in question yeah i like that um obviously i won't be using it long term but yes i will be keeping this in the sleeve the vinyl itself i very much like the color of that label it's kind of like a teal yeah really like that really like that um i've got to say that that the weight of this album is truly disappointing um yeah i don't even want to get into it i'm that upset by it i'm almost furious um yeah but not quite um yes very much hoping that it's going to sound fantastic um but yes it's not the thickest of vinyl um but it's one of those things where if i didn't purchase it somebody else would have and yeah i would have missed out on it and you know how it is with vinyl you when you see things uh you tend to want to go after them yeah if it's in your wheelhouse to, of taste obviously um but yeah disappointed by the weight of that but what can you do the next album is entitled uh oriental jazz by lloyd miller and it's the lloyd miller trio this segment is dated from if i can find it easily no i Oh, 1968, and this is a re-release on the 2000 in in 2019 on the Now and Again record label. So there you go. Um, really nice card for this outer packaging. Really like it. Um, I like black and white, black and white imagery um, on the cover. I tend to like it. I don't like this one. Um, I don't like the superimposed woman's face <laughs> over the kind of mountain scene. Um, kind of know what they were going for, but I don't like it at all. Um, but yes, the actual packaging itself is incredibly sturdy. So um, full props for that. Um, I heard this album, um, uh, took an initial listen to it, knew that I wanted to purchase it. It's going to be a difficult album for me to review, but I look forward to reviewing it because there's elements in here which are absolutely sublime, um, which blew my socks off. And then there were other parts of it which um, caused me to go, why have you done that type thing? So that, <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward to giving this a second and third and fourth listening and see if my initial impressions about it are well are confirmed um but yes glad to have it um yeah it's a nice sound and it's a forgotten album um again it's one of those things that i've seen for quite some time and kind of ignored because there was other things that i wanted um as a more pressing concern than this one but um certainly yeah once i got into having a listen to some of the selected tracks on this album so yeah that's the one for me um reasonably priced um you should be able to get this relatively not easily but you can get it if you want it but yeah certainly have a listen and see if it fits in your your collection of jazz albums so yeah um, i'm looking forward to as i said giving it a good listen the vinyl itself uh comes in you know relatively decent um in a sleeve uh, no real complaints about that, apart from I'm just going to reuse it at some point on a lesser album. The label itself is just standard fare. Nothing, you know, 
you know, outrageous here. It's just as basic as it comes. The weight of it is absolutely lovely, though. This is a fair chunk, so I'm really happy with that. That's 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 put a smile on my face. Um, yes, I, I've I've had earlier disappointments with other vinyl, which wasn't as weighty as it should be, but this is certainly like it's given me. An, it's put the smile back on my face. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to listening to that one. Uh, the next album, let's have a look. Now what's going on here? Oh, there you go. Um, again, um, those who have been around the channel know my love for Brazilian music. And this one is no exception. This is by uh, Ana Mazzotti. Um, I hadn't heard heard of her previous to actually purchasing this album, but when I did hear it, it's like, oh, yes, yes, this is going to fit in absolutely well. Let me just see if there's something in there. There is. There's a digital version code in here. And I think it's a self-titled album. Yes, it is. It's on Far Out Records. Uh, and I can't see when it was originally released, but I'll find out if I do review it in the future. So, there you go. I really like that album cover. She's just working the crowd there. The crowd love her presence. Um, what I had heard of this album, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it certainly um, put an immediate smile on my face. I like the way she sings. She fits in with my um, bias towards female uh, bossa nova singers. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped about this one. Um, I'm just like, you know, I'm just being a bit chilled about it. But yeah, when I opened, when I knew this was on its way and I, it, fi it finally arrived, um, I was super happy about this one. So yeah, I look forward to giving it a good run through this album. I'm sure it's not going to disappoint. Um, the vinyl itself for it comes in the standard fair paper uh, inner sleeve. It's a better paper in a sleeve than what you would normally encounter. I, I can't lie about that, but still it's disgraceful in that sense. Um, and you know what I mean. The label itself is pretty unimaginative. Nothing fancy there, but you know, I'm not too bothered about that. It's got uh, a decent weight to it. Um, yeah, I've, 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 yeah, the whole packaging, the packaging plus the weight of the vinyl. I've got no complaints here. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. Yeah. I just did that face there because I'm, I'm kind of excited. So, yeah, <laughs> I do apologise. The last uh, album for this episode is an album by a gentleman called Dick Griffin. And the album's entitled Now Is The Time. And it's on the Trident Record label. So, yeah, have a look at that. don't know what's going on there but um yeah this is one of those curious albums where i'd seen uh around again for some time and just you know when you have multiple options of things to buy this you know you, you're gonna have to have a pecking order of importance and this one kept sliding down the the, the ladder of importance or not not ascending in any way um which is really good because I managed to pick this up for like reasonable money. It was relatively cheap in the scheme of new vinyl at this moment in time. Um, what I had heard of it piqued my interest. Um, I think there's, uh, if I remember rightly off the top of my head, there was at least four really good killer tracks on here. So um, looking forward to giving it another listen, um, coming to some solid conclusions about it. But this fits in perfectly with... Um, a lot of the material I have in my collection at this moment in time. The album is a 1979 initial release. Um, in terms of people who are featured on this album, um, I've never heard of Dick Griffin, so um, I'm, you know, I'm here to educate myself in terms of, you know, the less well-known artists out there, and I like to kind of advocate or champion for them so i'm looking forward to hopefully um 
this being the experience I think it's going to be and probably having it as part of uh, an episode in the future. But yeah, what I heard of it, certainly did enjoy it. Found it for reasonable money. Um, have a listen to this album yourself, see what you think. Um, if it fits in with your collection, I suggest try to get it before there is no more copies left. But certainly I got mine for, you know, in the scheme of things, cheap as chips. So I was really pleased with that. Um, the album itself, again, standard uh, cheap paper in a sleeve, yeah, which will be discarded, as I always say. But I would say... Oh no, see there was elation and disappointment at the same time. Initially it felt like it was going to be have some weight to the vinyl, but no, no, no. It, it, it's, it's not disgusting, but it, it, it's not brilliant either. And it, yeah, there is a warp in it as well, and it's on two axes, yeah. Now, if you're one of those people who take vinyl back, um, I can kind of understand your frustration and why you do that, and perhaps I should do that even more. Um, I just, you know, I think of it as the luck of the draw kind of thing, you know. Um, most, of, you know, 90 odd percent of the time, my vinyl is lovely. It's as flat as I could hope for and be, you know, realistic about it is vinyl after all. But, um, yeah, every now and again, you get one what's warped onto it axes so what may happen is oh first of all i'll show you the, the the label yeah it's quite nice yeah yeah um what yeah going back to my thought about warped records um i am hoping that while this album is on the shelves you know sandwiched in between loads of other albums it might flatten itself out eventually or it's a case of like yeah in terms of the price of the album I'm not going to complain too much and um, I'm fortunate enough to have, well, at this moment, three turntables. So um, I kind of will see which, I, I probably won't put it on my top end turntable because I think it's going to, that's a little too sensitive for it. It will jump about too much. I don't want to damage the st stylus, I, you know, I'd rather get rid of the <laughs> the album rather than damage me stylus but on my kind of like mid-tier and my budget one um i'll try it out on that first um but certainly yeah it needs to be flattened out so yeah i'm, I'm pretty sad about that um but that's the elation and the despair which comes with uh vinyl purchasing um it's it's a bit of a you know it's it's a, it's a game of chance sometimes as you well know so um, that was the last album for today. Um, thank you so much for listening to my, uh, yeah, my ramblings. That's the best way to describe it. Um, as you can see, there, there was some elation and there was some despair there. And that's what comes with the hobby. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, if you did enjoy the content, uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment down below. Um, perhaps telling me about your experiences with um, buying vinyl and then being, you know, warped. Um, yeah, it, it'd be nice to hear other people's horror stories. Um, so until the next episode, um, please look after yourselves. Um, stay safe. Um, I will see you for the next episode once I've get, gotten over my heartbreak of that last vinyl there. It's, it's still irritating me. <laughs> I'm going to give it. Yeah, dagger eyes. Um, yeah, take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye.